Hi everyone, my name is Mike Gallagher. Good to see you again. We're doing our first soccer update of the year uh, for the Augsburg website. And nice enough to join us today, Jeff Butler, the man, the myth, the legend, the most interesting man in the world. Whatever you call him, we just call him Jeff. Jeff, how are you today? You know, I can't complain. Uh, with an intro like that, you know, it's pretty pretty easy to have good spirits. So. An amazing response from an amazing man. Jeff, uh, you know, you missed the glory year of Augsburg soccer, 2008, your sophomore forward on the team. So you missed 2008, in which uh, the Aggies went to nationals in uh, the tournament, and uh, you know coming off last, coming up two years ago, going into last year, you know a little bit of a down year, a little bit of a disappointing year. So what do you think the team learned from that experience of last year? Well, I mean, when you come off a successful year like that, um, the I guess the best thing you can do, or the worst thing you can do, excuse me, is um, to take for granted what you already have. Um, you want to try to build on your success, but when you just you know you know you can get that far and you don't work harder at it, it's it just goes downhill, and that's what happened 2009, my freshman season, um, where we kind of had that unlucky streak, um, seven games in a row, I think it was, last one to zero. Um, so you just can't take anything for granted. Coming into this year, you know, you're looking for a bounce back year. Obviously, you have Greg Holker, you know, very a lot of success at this uh, this institution. Um, talk about you know, you started the year with a trip to Washington. Uh, that sounded sound like a lot of fun, you know. When I was talking to you. Uh, give us an overview of that trip. You went one and one on the trip, I believe, and you know, it just it sounded like a really good time. What what did the team take out of that trip? Um, team took out of that trip. Uh, well, first of all, we played we played two games. Uh, first game was against Whitworth. Um, beautiful, beautiful field, by the way, excellent field. Um, Whitworth, I believe, at the time they were 16th in the nation. Um, so going into that game, we already had a pretty good record. Um, we wanted to prove that you know, we were coming back. Um, we're a team to be a team to be reckoned with. And so that game against Whitworth, even though uh, we got an unfortunate 2-0 uh, loss, um, we learned from that game that we can compete with, uh, with the better teams in the country and that, um, you know, we're, we're a force to be reckoned with. Uh, second game, uh, Pacific Lutheran, um, I think they're from California. Um, good, another good team, not in the top 25, but still a team, you know, you, you got to respect. Um, went into that game on the heels of the loss of the uh, Whitworth game. And uh, we just, we took everything from the Whitworth game, we threw it away, and we just said, we have to win this game. And that's what we did, came up with the result. Got to be happy with a one on one trip, and especially you know, a nice team bonding experience going out there. Uh, coming back, you know, you've you played very well since the trip. Uh, you, you, the defense has only allowed three goals. And so talk about the defensive prowess um, of that team and how it must help the offense to being a forward going against them every day in practice. Absolutely. I mean, um, you know, when we defend, we defend as a team. Um, the thing that um, Coach Holker stresses the most is uh, defending with the forwards because um, we're playing in a, a new system this year where we have four backs, and instead of four midfielders, we have three, and we take that fourth midfielder and turn it into a forward. So we have a 4-3-3. Three, three. And by doing that, we're allowed, or it allows us to put more pressure on their defense, which in turn makes them make mistakes faster. So we have more opportunity to create offense. And you know, by putting that much pressure um, on them in their half of the field, um, yeah, the defense looks good. Goalies look great. I think you know they have how many shutouts? Both freshman keepers too. So it, I mean, it all starts with uh, those front three, and then the middle three, and then having the strong four in the back. Um, that's just how you. That's how you only let up three. You talked about Greg Holker and his change of philosophy going into this year with the new formation. He's been a great soccer mind for this institution oh, for absolutely. five seasons now. So you know, it's not really a surprise that he comes off a tough season, learns something from it, and then brings it into the, this year. So talk about how uh, influential he's been on the, to this team and to you personally from the inside. Uh, how big of a difference does he make to have a coach that is that knowledgeable? Greg Volker, he's uh, one of the smartest soccer minds that I know, and I mean, having that as a coach is obviously an advantage. I mean, um, most coaches tell you what to do on the field, what to do in practice, but very few coaches tell you why you're doing it. Um, you know, why am I marking this guy instead of this guy? Why am I dropping back into space, whatever? And he will be the first one to let you know exactly why you're doing that. And having that, um, having that knowledge allows you to uh, fix the mistakes you made, we made last year um, and turn this season into a successful season. Speaking of a successful season, you are fourth in the nation right now, or fourth in the North region right now. Uh, you know, going forward, you know, since you've had so much success, how do you, what are the keys for you to carry this forward um, as a team and have continued success, maybe get up in that top 25, maybe, who knows, once again, they can run as an NCAA tournament? Um, I believe the, the best thing we can do is, at the beginning, um, we were all required to write down our own personal goals, team goals. I think if everybody achieves their own personal goals, 
the team goal should come without a problem. And so um, every player needs to work hard at practice to make sure they achieve their own personal goals. And you know, on the field, it'll take care of itself with all that hard work. Scintillating from a superstar. Uh, fantastic interview from you, Jeff Butler. I really appreciate you joining me. You Good luck much. to the Augsburg soccer team here tonight against Crown College, I believe, at 7 p.m. Uh, Northwestern. Northwestern, I'm sorry. Northwestern Roseville uh, tonight at 7 p.m. I uh, hope you get out and enjoy that game for another Augie win. And we wish we could continue to watch Jeff Butler, and I appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.